As soon as Rick mentioned that we were coming to Seattle, I started looking for some collectors that may have some items from the grunge music scene that started here. I found a local photographer who says she has some memorabilia from two of the area's biggest bands, Nirvana and Pearl Jam. So I've asked Rick and Corey to come meet me in hopes that we can make a deal. So you just decided to come and hang out at a bar? Well, the truth is, you can't go to Seattle without looking at some grunge stuff. I found this lady, Karen, who actually took pictures of brands like Pearl Jam and Nirvana and... Hey, Chun Li. Hi. Thanks for coming down. This is Rick and Corey, my bosses. Hi. Yeah, you can read it on the shirts. <laughs> yeah. So I hear you have quite the grunge collection. Yeah, I can't wait to show you. So what exactly do you have here? I went to Pearl Jam's record release party and Eddie Vedder was wearing this hat. And this is Eddie wearing that hat and he gave it to me. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is the only photo pass from the Nevermind 1991 Seattle show. No one's bigger than Nirvana. I mean, Kurt Cobain just had this presence like no one else. Um, well, I mean, it just came at the perfect time, too. I mean, it was just time for that 80s glam stuff to go away, and it just went the opposite way once Nirvana came around. And then what's this? This is a photo of Pearl Jam's first concert. I only shot one roll of film at their first concert. It's the first time I've ever printed this negative. No one's ever seen it until right this minute. Pretty cool. And a Nirvana ticket that's never been torn. So you were friends with all these guys? They were all my friends, and then they all got signed. Like, we were all hanging out, everyone's making music, and then they're like, Karen, take our pictures, Karen, take our pictures. And then I just started taking all the band's photos. Well, this is a very unique collection. What are you looking to do with it? Well, I was hoping, you know, to make a deal. And how much are you looking to get for everything? Well, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe like $5,000. I'm not exactly sure about some of the stuff. It, it, you, have, you have a weird, uh, odd collection here. And it's, <laughs> you get these one-of-a-kind items, completely one-offs. It's really hard to figure out a price sometimes. I'm just going to have to say it, Chum. You found the place. What do you want to pay for it? I would love to buy the collection maybe for, like, 2500 is that the highest you'd go? Yeah, that's the highest I'd go because there's gonna have to be expenses into building frames for all this stuff. You know, it's historic, it's memorable, and it's nostalgic. I think I'll just keep it all in Seattle. Well, if in the future you ever decide to sell it again, give me a message and let me know. Absolutely, yes. Well, thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for stopping in. Take care.